you will laugh, you'll jump in your seat, you'll cringe a little bit, um, but I think you'll take away some important messages as well. Seven wishes. I wish my family had a better life. Get in! What is happening right now? Okay, we're here with one of the stars of Wish Upon. Hey. Now, your character is so cool. I think anybody would want to hang out with her. Oh, thank you so much. I had a really, I had a lot of fun playing Meredith. Um, I think she's so awesome. She's such a sassy little tomboy, rough around the edges type of girl, and I love that about her. She just kind of speaks the truth. She says what everybody wants to say. Um, I think we all need a friend like Meredith. <laughs> yeah. And you're friends with Joy King's character, um, and you're kind of outsiders. Yes. You're kind of cool outsiders, though, yes. against the... Uh, <laughs> the popular people. <laughs> the popular kids. <laughs> but what I liked about the film is it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't resort to the stereotypes of high school kids, like you and Joey and your other friend. They're, they're quirky. They're not awkward. They're awkward to maybe the popular kids, but they're, they're kind of cool kids. Yeah, we're interesting, and I think that's what's kind of cool about our group. Like, you just, you know, with um, Joey and Shannon and I, we just all kind of clicked, like, offset as well, and we're all outsiders in, in our own kind of way. We all have our own specific, like, little knacks for things, and we're just, we're just interesting, and I think these characters are definitely relatable. Um, I think that's what people are going to love the most. Of course, this uh, movie, again, proves high school life is just tough, isn't it? <sighs> high school life is tough. It is tough, but it doesn't last forever. So that is an important message that you can take away from this. And add on top of that, horror mm -hmm. and getting, uh, be careful what you wish for. Yes, be careful what you wish for. Be grateful for what you already have. Nothing lasts forever. There are ways that you can improve yourself and see the light in darkness without having to have serious consequences like this film. <laughs> and a big theme is karma. It's like in high school, you know, all the, bad, all the kids who treat you bad, you always want like the, the worst for them. But in reality, you kind of don't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Karma is a huge theme. And I mean, what you, what you give, you get what you give. Um, what you put out there, you receive back. So. And I'm trying not to give this away, but you have an awesome scene, I'll say. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that scene was definitely a really, really fun part of filming this movie, and uh, I've always wanted to be in a horror film. My birthday's Halloween, so I feel like it's kind of kismet in a way, yeah, so that's kind of some fun trivia for you, but I remember, like, when I was a little girl, I would have my girlfriends come over, and we would do scary movies on my laptop, and we would put, like, chocolate syrup in the sink to make it look like blood, and my mom would be, like, she would hear screaming. She'd be like, guys, what's going on? And I was like, mom, you just ruined my shot. Um, so that's funny, but, yeah, being in this film and being the comic relief and then having an intense part of the movie as well is definitely a win-win. And what you notice, what you can't help but notice, is diversity in the cast, and I love it. How great yes. was that? It's amazing. It's amazing. We have a lot of um, Korean-American actors, like myself, Ki Hong Lee. Uh, we have Joey. We have Shannon. We got Ryan Phillippe. Like, it's, it's a very diverse cast, and that's, that's definitely, like, a major just issue that I think we need to touch on more as, like, a society, especially, like, the political state of where we are, and, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome to be in projects that are so diverse, and I've been blessed to be a part of projects that, you know, kind of reach a, a really broad audience. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing it with the show 13 Reasons Why, another high school live, very diverse, so I think Hollywood is taking note and saying, hey, we need to reflect what the world looks like? It's about time. I think it's about time, you know, because... We, there are so many talented people out there that just don't have the opportunities and that's like the saddest part of it all. You see so many actors that fall off, people of color that, that don't get to go as far as they should. Yeah. So um, I'm really proud of that, especially like my generation. I think we're expanding our horizons and, and trying to be more accepting of people and um, that's definitely what I'm proud of this millennial generation despite our annoying qualities. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we're bringing diversity to Hollywood for sure. Now as an actress, a, a woman of color, you know, has it been a, has it been a struggle? 
It's definitely been challenging. I mean, I'm biracial, I'm African American and Korean, and I'm proud to represent both of my cultures. But at the same time, it's, I think it's hard for people to put me in a specific category. They're like, oh, she's not black enough, or she's not really Asian, or she looks like she could be something else. So it's been challenging, but ultimately, I think I've been really happy with the opportunities I've gotten, the roles I've gotten that honestly were probably meant for white actors. Um, and I'm so blessed that. I was given the opportunity because, you know, this is something I've been training my whole life for and I'm proud that I can inspire people and inspire young women of color that are trying to break into any field, you know, and I'm like, it is possible. You just have to kind of step outside of yourself and look at the broader picture of things. Hopefully we're to a point where scripts just come with dialogue and not a necessity, a necessity of describing a character to a T, right? Exactly. Yes, that is, that is the goal for sure. And what do you have coming up? I have a YouTube Red series coming out later this year. It's called Lifeline. Mm -hmm. It is exec produced by The Rock. So, yeah, it's awesome. We're doing promos this summer, and um, it's an action sci-fi thriller. My character is pretty badass in punk rock. So I think, cool. yeah, I think my fans will really love it because they've never seen me play a character like Nora before. So that'll be awesome. Is he in it, or he's just uh, producing? He does make a little cameo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it like working with him? He's oh, so cool. I have not met him yet. Um, the shot that he did, I wasn't, I wasn't able to attend, but um, I'm excited to meet him. He's really gung-ho about this project. It's kind of like his baby, you know, Seven Bucks Digital, his company is behind it. And um, yeah, we're doing promos with him like all over, I think, the country and I think internationally. So that'll be awesome. Is he a role model? He came from wrestling. He's you know big time actor now, but he's you know he's a smart guy. He knows that he needs to be a producer in order to survive in this business. He is so inspiring. I love Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> I love him so much. Like not only is he just beautiful, like physically, he's just so inspiring and positive. And um, I think a lot of people look up to him. Whether you're a woman, a ma you know a male, like whatever field you work in, I think everyone can look up to The Rock because that is someone who has parlayed their talent in such a positive way. So I, I, I love him so much. <laughs>